How's it going guys? Welcome to my first team build of my HL18. A ton of people asked me what my team's looking like, so I figured I would share that with you guys. I've actually only played a few games online. I've mostly been playing the Hut Challenges, but uh, it's been a very good team for the Hut Challenges as well online so far. I'm 2-1, and one, so uh, not too bad, I guess. As you guys can see here, first line pretty stacked. You have David Pashnak, honestly one of my favorite cards in this game. A6 overall, 91 speed, really nice shot and hand. You can probably buy him for around 15k right now. Uh, next one, of course, centering that first line, Nick Baxter. I pulled him in that first pack opening. He's like 35 to 40k. Uh, really good speed on him with 90. Decent shot, amazing hands though. 94 passing and puck control. Also pretty solid faceoffs there at 83. Uh, faceoffs are a lot lower in Hut this year, um, as you guys are about to find out. And then the first line right winger there, we have Taylor Hall. He's like 25k. Obviously one of the fastest players of the game at 93 speed. Solid shot, solid hands. Uh, I can't really say enough about Hall. He's just a very, very good winger. Second line here, we have Trisel, Giroud, and Eichel. So, um, Eichel's pretty solid. I think he's only going for like 8-9k now. Um, he's got like high 80 speed and shot. Uh, 91 deking there is actually his best offensive stat. But I pulled him a couple times. We're going to give him a shot. His synergy uh, fit the team. He was actually a very good player. Now, next up here, the second line center is Claude Giroud. Honestly, I think he's one of the best players in Hut. He's only going for like 15k right now. I pulled him like four times. I'm glad I did. If I hadn't pulled him a bunch of times, probably would not have tried him. So, as you guys can see here, he's 86 overall, 90 speed, which is pretty high, I think, for like a base card. He's got 90 wrist shot accuracy, which is obviously amazing for those snipe goals, especially from the slot. And then he's got 92 deking, 92 hand eye, 93 passing, 93 puck control, so absolutely insane hands. As well, he has 87 faceoffs. Like I was saying earlier, faceoffs are a lot lower this year, so Claude Giroux's 87 faceoffs are actually the uh, third highest in Hut. I think Bergeron has the highest at like 90, maybe 95. The second highest, I think, is Jordan Stahl, who has 88. Uh, and then Claude Drew there, 87, is actually the third highest. So, all around, very, very good player. Can't say enough about him. And like I was saying, I think once people realize just how good of a card this is, his price is probably going to go up. So, I would definitely go buy some right now. And of course, on the second line there, we have to have Dry Saddle. Uh, pretty solid card. I wish he had a bit more speed. Only 86. Really good shot, though, and hand. And like I was saying, obviously, have to include Dry Saddle on the team. I think you can probably buy him right now for 8 or 9k. Uh, third line here, we have the Hut rookie, uh, Connor McDavid. If you guys pre-ordered, everyone's going to have him. All three of his synergies are activated. Even though he's 85 overall, still a pretty solid card there. 87 speed, uh, pretty high hands, good shot accuracy. 94 offensive awareness still as well. Uh, Matt Duchesne starting that line, 84 overall. Probably the best 84 in the game. It's either him or Durant. Uh, 92 speed, which is just ridiculous. Um, obviously, too, with that, he's got the 91 acceleration. Solid shot, solid hands. And honestly, um, even though the rest of his stuff is like mid-80s, aside from the speed, He's still a beast in high. He's been a beast in high since like NHL 13. I uh, just can't recommend Duchesne enough. Plus, with the Rocket Skate Synergy, he's even faster. Um, on the left wing here, we have William Nylander. Very solid right-handed player. Um, he's actually got identical stats to Mitch Marner, except slightly better. Like, aside from a few points here and there on stats that really aren't that important, they're the exact same card. I think Marner does have 75 face-offs, but I wouldn't recommend either of them on center. I think they should both play the wing. As well, Nylander's Synergy there. Uh, Dangler zone fit better in my team than Marner's, which I forget what it is. So uh, I think Nealander's like 8k, Marner's 12k. Um, honestly, if you don't care about the synergy, I would save the coins, get Nealander. Like I said, it's pretty much the exact same card. You're really just paying for the name with Marner. And then fourth line here, it's a bit of a creative fourth line. We've got Nolan Patrick on the left wing. Obviously, he's a bronze card, but he's 79, which is pretty solid. Decent speed stat. He's also got a decent shot on him. Uh, with Dangler zone and with the uh, HT, which is hammer time. Uh, it actually improves his strength and his hands, so makes him like a decent card, especially for the fourth line. Um, I chose obviously Dylan Larkin for my hot rookie. Really like him. 90 speed with rocket skates at a 92. Uh, Breakout Master actually gives him extra acceleration as well, so just a very, very fast card there. That was my fourth line center. And then at the fourth line right wing there, we have Logan Brown. Uh, Spitfire, so obviously I like him. He's got the Thread the Needle synergy, which is like the new team wheel. He's also got Hammer Time, so makes him a bit quicker. Makes him 81 speed, also makes him stronger. He's already got decent strength too for Bronze for 84. Uh, being 6'5", so we kind of get the speed there from Larkin, the size from Brown, and just kind of like the skill from Patrick, and obviously too, Brown and Patrick aren't too expensive at all, I think Brown you can get for like 500, and Patrick's like 2k max. Uh, moving on to defense here, so first D pair is pretty sick, I have the Hut Hero Al McGinnis, uh, back to back years, my first hero I completed was Al McGinnis, um, he's got the Hammer Time and Thread the Needle synergies, just like Logan Brown, and obviously his best attribute of course is his shot, 96 slap shot power with 92 accuracy, and then 94 wrist shot power with 93 with shot accuracy. He's got 87 speed, which isn't the greatest, but with Thread the Needle, it's 89. And the rest of his skating stats are pretty solid. He's also got good hands there, 92 hand-eye, 92 passing, uh, 90 offensive awareness, 92 defensive awareness, 
90 stick check, 90 shot block, 90 strength. I think it's a very good card. For me, it was either him or Murphy, and McGinnis was like two less silvers, and I think a few less golds, plus like the Calgary players were cheaper than Pittsburgh, so just made a lot of sense for me. Um, didn't have to really buy that many cards, like maybe a few players, and I already had all the collectibles, so that was a pretty easy first tier for me to do. Uh, paired up with him, I have Victor Hedman. He's actually the highest rated left-handed defenseman in the game, tied with Duncan Keith. Uh, obviously, Hedman's a beast. He's 6'6", 85 speed's not that great. He's got 90 slap shot and wrist shot power, though. 88 passing and puck control, 92 defense awareness, uh, 92 stick check, 92 strength, 91 shot block. He's an absolute beast to think in this game. I think it costs like 35 to 40k. Next pair here we have Morgan Riley and Dougie Hamilton. Uh, not really too much to say about them. They're just like good bargain defensemen in my opinion. Riley's got 88 speed there. He's also got 87 passing, 88 puck control. So obviously a bit more of a mobile defenseman. And then you got Dougie Hamilton there, 6'6". Six, six, so he's kind of like a horse out there. He's a big boy with 87 speed. He's got the 90 slap shot power as well. 89 passing, 89 puck control, 90 offensive awareness, 87 stick check. I think he's kind of like a sleeper defenseman card. I don't think a lot of people realize uh, just how good he is. And I think he's not that much like maybe 1500 max, maybe 2k actually. I think Riley's like 1000 to 1500. And then third pair there, you have Shankirk, basically like a power play specialist. Uh, he's got the 90 passing and puck control, the 90 offensive awareness. Uh, like I said, just a very good playmaking defenseman. And then paired up with him, we have Cam Fowler, who's kind of like a good all-around defenseman. Another reason too, I used uh, Fowler and Riley. They both have the breakup master synergy. Uh, this team actually has five synergies in total. I haven't seen anyone with five synergies on their team yet, so I think that's pretty impressive. At least, a uh, team that's like mostly just pace cards. Uh, looking at the special teams quick, basically just our best players. We're going to put McGinnis obviously on the point, uh, rip that clapper. And then the second unit there of course has Shankar to try and set some guys up. For man power play, I always just go with the fastest players regardless of position. Uh, both Riley and Shankar throw pretty fast so it kind of helps to have like one defenseman out there just to make sure you don't get uh, too aggressive. Penalty kill usually just fast slash you know good defensive stats so forwards are fast. And then defenseman there. You got some size and strength in Hedman and Hamilton. Uh, three man penalty kill, just kind of your best face off guys with speed. I forgot to mention too with Duchesne, he's actually got solid face offs as well, 83. And like I was saying, face offs are lower this year, so Matt Duchesne, 92 speed, 83 face offs, 94 with rocket skates, like kind of the perfect uh, three man penalty kill player, honestly. Uh, Shootout for me is always just my best left handed players, I'm a big fan of righties. Uh, extra attackers, Backstrom and Hall. Goalies, so my starting goaltender here is Rene. I tried him out, thought he was okay. Tried Bishop, thought Bishop was okay, but probably a bit worse than Rene, so I put Rene back in. Uh, back up there is Gibson, just for the thread the needle synergy. And then head coach there, Davidson again, for thread the needle. So like I was saying, guys, we have five synergies in total. Uh, Rocket skates here, plus two to acceleration, durability, and speed. You guys can see who gets that. Uh, Dangler zone, plus two to deking, hand eye, and puck control. Breakout master is really not that great of a synergy, but it is one. Plus three to acceleration and wrist shot, so all three of my left hand defensemen have it, so they're all going to be excelling a bit faster. Hammer time, plus two to body check, slap shot power, and strength. I think strength's pretty important, as in like not getting knocked off the puck and stuff like that. And then like I was saying, thread the needle in the new team wheel, plus three to balance, hand eye, passing, and speed. So I think that's a pretty uh, important synergy. And I honestly feel like it's a bit better than team wheels. It's like a mixture between team wheel and tape to tape. So you get the balance and speed for like the skating boost. And then you also get hand eye and passing to help you out with one timers and just set up plays. I think it's like the best synergy in the game for sure. So anyway guys, that is a look at the team. Like I was saying, um, I really like this team. Uh, I think especially too, considering the fact I have this team technically before day one, like uh, first day the game actually releases worldwide is tomorrow on Friday. So I think that's pretty impressive. I uh, figured I'd also show you guys the stats for this team. Also, uh, one thing I haven't mentioned yet, the Hockey Can logo is now in the game, so that's pretty sick. You guys can see it there. And I'm rocking the custom home Adidas jersey with the away Vegas Gold Knights jersey. If you're wondering about the record too, um, the record is messed up due to the hut challenges. You quit, you get a loss. Also, I actually won a hut game where I was winning one. My opponent legged out and I got the loss, so stats are really messed up in this game. Talking about the stats being messed up. So Rene is 1-0 right now for me. Um, after I subbed him in for Bishop, and it says he's 0-1. Just, like I said, the stats are messed up, so don't worry too much about that. The player stats, luckily, are the ones that are most important. They're working right now, so three games played. Duchesne's actually leading the team in points with four points. I think that's kind of impressive. Uh, Shankirk there as well, three assists, plus five. Fowler there, three points, a plus six. I don't know how Fowler's plus six in three games. Kind of crazy. Eichel there, three. Hamilton, Bax, McDavid, all two, and then the rest of the guys here all with one so surprisingly it's like the third line there and the third pairing d i don't know if they're just getting better matchups or what but they're playing better uh, if you actually go all the way down to you'll see the only two guys without points are mcginnis and headman but uh both mcginnis and headman have played well for me in the hot solo challenges like mcginnis has a ton of slap shot goals in that um, against even superstar computers so 
I think that's pretty good. Like I was saying, guys, I highly recommend this team. Really have no complaints about any of the players on it, at least not yet. And I'm having a lot of fun with it. And I'm just going to show you guys some of the goals I scored with this team while streaming so you can kind of get an idea for how they play. Oh, uh, yeah, I believe they're division title packs. There we go. Like I said, Hashnack. He's a beast. It's pretty nuts. That speed from Duchesne's killer. There we go. And then Duchesne's gone. Back. There we go. Okay, cool. Like I mentioned earlier, I've only played three games with this team online, so I don't have too many goals to show, but um, the three games I have played, they've performed pretty well, so hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, watching those goals as well. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please leave a thumbs up. Make sure you guys stay tuned for more HL18 videos. I should have another video today, which you guys are definitely going to want to check out. Other than that, though, that's the video. Thank you guys again for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.